Okay, what we're going to do is record uh, or look at the index function, what that means. So we've got some ice cream flavors here. Uh, this is in a vertical row. Uh, here we can see it a horizontal, and this is a, a grid here, just to make these a little wider so you can see them. So what does the index function do? Well, what it does is basically look at an array or a range of data and then brings back either the number or the row. So the first argument is the range, the second is the row, and the third is the column. Okay, so this is how it works. So for instance, here's the ice cream flavor. If I'm wanting to pick back up vanilla here, I can type in equals index for the index function. I use the mouse to select the ice cream flavors, type in a comma, and type in two. When I press enter, you can see it's picking up this vanilla here. Same will happen with the rows. So say for instance I want to pick up tutti frutti here. So I'll type in equals index select this list here. Type in a comma, type in a three, and you see it picks up tutti frutti. But what happens if the range here is basically including rows and columns like this one here? So say I want to pick up coconut. So I'll type in equals index. Uh, choose the array or the range of data then I want to see the notice the first option is the row number so two uh, rows down and then a comma and then the second is the column number that's optional so what I'm going to do is type in um, number two press enter and there we go we've got coconut thanks for listening if you want any more videos please see www.computertutoring.co.uk